Hey guys, it's Liv and welcome back to another Vlogmas video. I am currently hobbling around. It's like nearly time for me to go to work. I genuinely don't know how I'm going to function today. So basically, at my gym upstairs, there's this like builder and barbell section where there's like a bunch of like, not rubber, but like small plastic, I guess small plastic, not small, like plasticky dumbbells. I don't know what they're filled with, like sand or something. They're not metal. Um, and they kind of like teeter precariously on the edge of like the little things that hold them, you know, because people overstack them. Anyway, I was trying to get off a five kilo one. Well, actually no, I wasn't getting it off yet. I was about to grab off a five kilo one and then I bumped it and it fell off and it would have fallen square in the middle of my toe, which I think would have been worse because I feel like those bones are very, very thin and I probably would have broken them. But I didn't, I jumped my foot out, but I didn't jump it out far enough and it landed like square on my big toe and like it hurt a lot like a lot a lot a lot but if I don't know if you guys know this I don't know if I've talked about it on YouTube but I legit have like this I want to say irrational fear because it's pretty irrational but like I have this fear of like okay bear with me it sounds stupid I have a fear of both cuticles and like n nail fingernail and toenail injuries so like if you were telling me about how you got a stub toe one time like I would be like full body shivering like not wanting to hear about it or like somebody's fingers gets tripped in a door I don't want to know about it like I just you know I'm okay with like big gashes and like blood but for some reason fingers and toes I'm just not okay with it I don't know why I don't think I've ever had like a traumatizing injury as a child I think some of it it's got it we got worse since I had my wedge resection on my big toe a couple years back I would say google it if you want to know what it is but don't because it's gross basically when you get like an ingrown toenail which I got through another injury um they cut out a big chunk of your toe now and it never grows back again it's real gross and that like legitimately scarred me for life so I've just been struggling all morning with like functioning I was crying like uncontrollably I got I managed to get out of the gym without crying tears I tried to get into my car and I like smashed my head on the like door panel which really hurt which made me start crying and then I cried the whole drive home I got home and Corby was here and I don't think he realized because I messaged in our chat and I was like I just dropped a weight on my toe and I don't think that he realized like that I was actually like very very upset so I just lay in bed and like kind of like screamed and cried for a little while um it's like I'd say like 50% nah maybe like 60% pain 40% mental like anguish I mean you guys don't know what my toe normally looks like but it's pretty swollen and you can see there's like a little bruisey mark like right there so I don't know if it's broken like I can kind of bend it but it really hurts so I'm not sure if it's broken not that there's anything that they can do if it's broken they just like put it into a splint don't walk on it so I'm not gonna go anywhere to get it checked out because I'm not wasting money to for them to tell me that my toe's broken here's my gross toe guys sorry oh. if you don't like feet I thought you guys might want to be here for this moment when I open my Ferrero Rocher Ferrero Rocher Alright guys, are you ready for the moment? Truth. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. A satisfying peel. This better not be disappointing. Oh, it's not disappointing. <laughs> You're such a doggy. <laughs> that really hurt. Yeah, it looks thick. It's got nuts in it, mate. Yeah, that actually really hurts. Okay, that's not a good move. Hey. My hair. Tell me about it. Third. That's you, John Travolta. I am Travolta. And not to play. Doesn't he have hair like that? In Greece? Yeah, like Greece. Yes, yeah, my like, man. Oh, man. What else is okay, name? The question Danny? is John Travolta or Nicolas Cage? No, I'm not saying about looks, I'm just saying in general. John Travolta. Let us know in the comments, fam. Oh, by the way, my sticker says perfect patient because I got an ice pack for my um, foot. Just FYI. Alright. Maybe you can take a hint, buddy. Mm. It is Tuesday today and I am feeling a lot better than yesterday. Um, excuse my voice. 
<sighs> so cold. My voice is really raspy for some reason. I don't know. It's always raspy at the moment. I haven't really given it a chance to like recover because it's only been like two days off work at a time, which is like how life works. <laughs> but it's just not getting better. Right now I'm headed for the gym and my toe feels okay. It feels okay. Um, it's sore, but it's all right. Um, it's, I was, I was gonna show you, I can't remember if I showed you guys last night. I think I did, yeah. Um, it's a little bit sore, but like today it's sore kind of on my nail, which is freaking me out a little bit, but that's all right. I've had my fat burner, or whatever you call it, thermogen, I'm feeling pretty good. The main thing that I did want to talk about is the natural deodorant thing. And I'm so surprised that so many of you have been irritated as well from natural deodorants. Like, I really did not expect. I thought you guys were going to be like, ugh, gross. <laughs> but so many of you told me that it happened to you as well. And a lot of you said, get one that is baking soda free. And now the kicker is, my one is baking soda free because it's the sensitive version. So, I think I'm just allergic to not using aluminum, aluminium, Whew, said it like an American. I think I'm just allergic to not using aluminium, like my body's just become accustomed to having terrible chemicals rubbed into my armpits. So I just got home from the gym and I'm just gonna sort of like prep my lunches, but I'm not really prepping because I'm just putting stuff in a box. But anyway, these are the wraps from like a couple weeks ago. And for some reason, somebody was talking to me. She's like, how do you like, how long do your reps last you? I'm like, literally ages. She's like, mine grow moldy in a couple of days, but like, I've had these for ages and they're still good. They smell fine. Mm, yeah, they smell fine. Um, I don't know, am I weird that I just keep eating food until it goes off? Till it smells bad? I don't know, anyway. So I'm gonna use these wraps. They're from Ferrers. I did buy a new bag just in case these were like nasty, but they're fine. So I'm gonna have, oh, it was so close. I'm gonna have these with some sour cream spread on something. The love of Pete. You know, I'm just feeling kind of just blah about the gym. Uh, I haven't really had a period like this in a really long time since like maybe March, no, May or June, I think, when I had all my Armageddon stuff. I think it was June. Um, but yeah, I'm like nearly finished the Body by MG plan for the second time. And this time I'm doing like, I'm following the plan every four weeks I'm moving on to the next block, if that makes sense. So I'm doing it sort of like more strict, I suppose. Um, and I'm just kind of like, at the moment, just feeling really like, ugh, like I just don't want to do it. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I'm stressed. I don't know why, but normally I'm really good at going to the gym and, oh, shivers, sorry guys, I nearly threw you off. Um, I'm usually really good at going to the gym and like trying my best and blah blah blah. I don't know, like I just feel unmotivated and like lazy. So I'll like go to the gym and like I'll do probably like half of the exercises and then I'll like sort of give up. Um, like today, today was a bit different though because I had done like my, all of my activations for my, because it was glute day. And I did like one of my exercises and then the next one is glute, um, sorry, hip thrusts which I find really awkward to do at my gym because I have to use the um, bench press benches because they're lower than the other benches because of my height. Because you have to kind of like hit it right here on your back and then you're like like thrusting into the air in like a bridge. You guys know what it is, I'm sure. Anyway, and it's kind of awkward because I feel like I don't want to try it in case they don't move, but I'm pretty sure they've nailed them into the ground now or like screwed them in because the last time I tried to move it it did not budge and it's really close to the other benches so I would have been like thrusting right at somebody who was doing like shoulder things or something so I just felt really weird and then as I was like walking in <laughs> that bin needs to be emptied as I was walking in these guys that are always there they kind of like and I, I know that it 100% probably was nothing to do with me they like pointed in my general direction and laughed and I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have been at me because they see me literally every day and they've never done anything before. But um, it was kind of disconcerting and I pretty much just went and like dawdled for, for 10 minutes and then I left. So, so we're getting Uber Eats and Hazel's gonna read us the La Pocetta menu. So you've got main <laughs> bolognese, you've got a carbonara, you've got a main mushroom, E. What was the first one? I'm not saying. I'm not saying. You can't give me the 
You've got the poly e avocado. <laughs> Why did you say the one word that's English in an accent? I don't know. Oh, this one. Oh, the beef ragu. You missed one. Yep. The Ella, whatever the hell that is. Read it. I don't, can't see from here. Matricana. I don't know. You got the main pesto. <laughs> Why did I not read it? Oh yes, read that one. <laughs> that one's oh, easy, yeah, you just read it phonetically. Pescator. <laughs> it's pescatory, if anything. <laughs> but he's not silent. <laughs> What's the next one? Lasagna. No, you missed one. Oh, yeah. it's a big Everyone one. knows That was the one that Corpo wants. What? The it's, seafood one? Yes, read it. Corpo loves seafood. Yeah, I do the moldy. Okay. The pescatory. Napoleon whatever the f we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> and then you got some old OG cannellonis, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner. What's yours look like? Ooh. Crispy ayers. And some chips. And Hazel's very exciting salad. <laughs> Yay. So we're gonna do a little bit of shopping. I was I would show you with the screen capture, but there's probably no point. It is actually like not night time. It's just the screen is so bright. Um, I kind of already know what I want, so we're gonna go Jouer. And I think I want to buy one of these palettes. Let me find it. I think I want to get this palette. How cute that is. 69 bucks. I'm gonna grab this. I think I'm gonna get a gift. Let's see if they've got any benefit gift sets in stock. Is that one? I think that's the only one they've got left. Yeah, I might just grab that one. Like, look how cute this is. So you get three minis for 35 bucks. Yes, please. Claire, if you're watching, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. By the way, I'm like whispering because Corpus streaming right now. But thank you so much. Can't wait to try my palette and I'm sure my friend will love the gift set. So I just thought I'd come out here so that I could actually like talk to you in a normal voice. Um, I actually thought I'd end the vlog today because I haven't been ending my vlogs. I've just been kind of like dropping them off whenever I drop them off. But I thought I'd better end it today. So I do apologize again, you guys, for just how here, there and everywhere vlogmas has been so far but we still have like more than 10 videos left and I'm really really excited to pick it up and actually include a lot more content. If you guys have any ideas on content for the new year or other stuff that you want to talk about in vlogmas please let me know. I'm honestly feeling a world better than I was this time last week. So yeah I hope you guys have had a really great day. Oh by the way my Gymshark stuff literally just arrived at my parents house yesterday or today so tomorrow I'll go pick it up and hopefully that means that one day this week I will have a non-vlog video. I'm gonna have a Black Friday haul which is so exciting I can finally film it so anyway if you did enjoy this video which hopefully you did please give it a thumbs up because it helps new people find my channel. Love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow with another vlogmas video. Bye!